I would ask that you entrust Tupsiamati to me. A man who calls himself the Griffin, but is planning something new, something reckless. For every ending, every parting, marks a new beginning. Welcome or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Burr, and if you are a fan of MMOs, RPGs, JRPGs, obscure video games, art, or music, then I suggest you subscribe because that's what we do here. Also, don't forget to give this video a like because that super helps us out. The algorithm is cool. <laughs> he's like a total babe. What a hunk. Oh, he's a hunk. And yeah, that's that's what we got going on. That's what's new here. Forgive me, my thoughts were elsewhere, and this what I know full well there is yet work to be done. The crystals. Leave them to me. I'll go back into Zara Zaharak and secure them. The Amalja will still be in disarray after the thrashing the warriors of darkness gave them. They are not like to notice the lone bard skulking about. But then, Grin, you don't have to do this, I know, but I want to. I will see you at the Rising Stones. <laughs> I should go and find Ida and Papalimo. They must have finished searching in the mask's camp by now. Not that it matters anymore. You must be tired, Burr. I know I am. If thou wilt permit me, my lady, I would ask a question. When didst thou become aware of my independent pursuits? When I saw you meeting with that warrior of darkness and the Asian in white at the Great Library. I tried not to think the worst. You've never been one to confide in others, so I knew that even were your intentions pure, you would not share your plans with us until you felt the time was right. But I cannot deny that a part of me feared you had simply betrayed us. Would that there had been another way. Know that I took no pleasure in deceiving thee, and that these sins will forever weigh heavy on my heart. I understand why you did what you did. That you but sought to achieve the greatest good while inflicting the least harm. Not many would have the courage to make that choice. But even knowing what came of your actions, I find that I cannot condone them. I'm sorry. But forgive me, but I believe the events of the day have taken their toll on me. I should like to rest for a while. If thou wilt grant me leave, I would gladly escort thee unto a refuge of thine own choosing. Once my lady hath regained her strength, we shall join thee at the Rising Stones. Until then, warrior of light. <laughs> and then, there was one. <laughs> well met, Burr. Alvino said you would be joining us. Twould seem the griffin's stubble was telling the truth, and so far as we found nothing resembling a sizable cache of crystals of in the mask skip, did you perchance find one in Zaharak? Saharak. Actually, I don't believe it. The crystals, Mavilia, all of it. It's just, I don't know what it is. I sympathize, Ida, even though I struggle to comprehend that which I saw. The only thing I can say with any certainty is that I feel blessed to have been granted a final chance to speak with her. It was bittersweet, aye, but also affirming. Alphino, I believe it is past time Ida and I rejoined the Scions. We have been away for far too long. Though I am loath to leave the Griffin to his own devices, I feel our investigation would benefit from your more dispassionate perspectives. And I hope that we might, in turn, offer our own opinions on the many challenges that you have faced in our absence. Gods, it's been absolutely ages, hasn't it? I can't wait to hear about everyone's adventures. We should be glad to recount them. The tattoo's tales may well surprise you. <laughs> Ida? Ida, Fraga be praised, it is you. Ida, alive and standing here before me, in the flesh. I can hardly believe my eyes. I, er... Oh, come now, has it really been so long you don't remember me? It's Gundawald. I fought beside your father in the revolution. <laughs> Do not think less of her, friends. It's been twenty years since the occupation sent us our separate ways, but the resistance were always welcome in Little Alamigo. They gave us hope, and young Ida most of all. Aye, 
Yuda here was always full of fire, ever the first to volunteer for our mission. Until the day she up and vanished, that is. There were rumors, so we feared the worst. But here you are, alive and well, looking nary a day older. Well, well what can I say? I, I'm sorry for running off like that and making you all worry. It's a long story, but you see, I, I got involved with my friends here, the Scions. Oh, sorry, we were still the circle of knowing back then, right? Uh, anyway, I wanted to come back and tell you, but it was all very secretive stuff at the time, and, uh, as you can see, I'm completely fine. I know we've got a lot to talk about, and we will, but right now I've got to hurry back to our headquarters. My friends are expecting me. Oh, dear. Pray forgive her. It has been a very long day for us all. I promise we will visit again at the first opportunity. <laughs> Let us return to the Rising Stones. Like, okay, what's up with you, Ida? Hell's take me for giving you that mask. <gasps> what? Welcome home, Burr. I trust your journey was uneventful. You will be pleased to hear that Thagrid has secured the crystals. He sent word a short while ago. Once he has delivered them safely into the Temple Knight's care, he will rejoin us here, and we can declare this matter officially resolved. While awaiting your arrival, I took the opportunity to contact Ishtola and Kral and brief them on all that has occurred. I also requested that they return to the Rising Stones at their earliest convenience. Now that our lost friends have been found, it would seem it would seem meet to discuss the future. Back in the solar. It's been too long since we were all together like this. Not since. Not since after Moonbreda. Much has changed since then. We ourselves, most of all. Though not all who were lost could be gathered here today, we may take comfort in the knowledge that those who are not are carrying on the fight. While I am grateful to our friends in the North for their hospitality, it is enough good to be back. But, as Papalima rightly said, much has changed since we last stood here. The Scions of the Seventh Dawn are not as they once were, nor should we be. Our travels in the North brought us into contact with a host of fine and generous people, and their selfless deeds serve to show me that it is not lofty causes that should inform our actions, but our hearts. And I hope that the Scions might continue in this manner, as individuals driven by individual principles. Provided we all sincerely desire to work towards Eorzea's salvation, I believe the paths we follow to achieve it need not, and should not, be dictated by any single ideal. Companions bound by a common purpose, free to go whither they will. The idea is not without merit. Very well. I shall resume my research of the primals and the elder gods of Eorzea. Should anyone have need of my findings, you need only ask. I should be glad of your continued assistance. Well, my main purpose in coming here was to see the signs of the Seventh Dawn restored and my dear friend found. Nevertheless, having involved myself in your struggles, I feel compelled to see them through to the bitter end. For Minfilia's sake. That is, if there are no objections. Welcome in, Runic. You will always be welcome here, Cry. <laughs> Uriangere, can we trust you to carry on your investigation of the Assians as before? Hmm. 
Regardless of mine own desires, I am undeserving of your trust, having so villainously deceived you all. Wait, at least he's aware. Well, I'll hear no more of that. <laughs> Would be disrespectful of Minfilia's wishes. She entrusted matters here to us, that we might protect this star and understand the truth which hides at her heart. Mayhap I can handle the former, but I think you far better suited to the latter. No? Very well. <laughs> then out of love for my Lady Minfilia and Moonbreeder both, this shall be my solemn charge. I, Papalimo and I should probably return to Thandalan to keep an eye on the Resistance. There's still the matter of the Griffin and the Amalja, not to mention the new Imperial Viceroy. That little lot must be worthy of our attention, right? What's her deal? And what will you do, Alize? You know I have no great love for organizations and formalities. That being said, this new approach you propose is not wholly objectionable. And we've always got her to keep us from bickering. But I will suffer no titles. I am not here for House Leveo, nor to walk in Grandfather's shadow. Upon that point, we see eye to eye. If it please you, you may think of me as but another comrade in arms. Well then, Alfie, I for my part shall see to the paperwork and the finances with my characteristic aplomb. I would not have it any other way, Tataru. And we mustn't forget you. What now for the warrior of light? <laughs> Tell me what to do. <laughs> I'm gonna go with that one. Could be really solemn. Serious. Indeed. <laughs> yeah. The path behind us was fraught with hardship, and the path before us will be no less unforgiving. But a new dawn shall break over the realm, and I see before me the faces of those who will deliver it. Okay, let's go. Look at them, Bert. The signs of the seventh dawn. Look how far we've come. The people we've met, the moments we've shared, the losses we've suffered, the tragedies we've overcome. All of it has made us who we are today. Where we go from here or what the future holds, only the twelve know. But I know that we will find out together. One world's heroes are another world's villains. One world's loss, another world's gain. Where men go as one, there is life. And where there is life... My friends, if I may, I would ask that you entrust Tupsiamati to me. Clouds gather upon the horizon, and as Master Louisois's disciple, I would keep it close at hand. Thank you. 
I shall guard it well. There is cause to hope. For every ending, every parting, marks a new beginning. Oh, snap. Could it very well have this end on a happy note? Well done, brother. You may resume your normal duties and rejoin the others. The coming battle shall be our greatest yet, and I intend to stand with you all on that glorious day. True believers are so readily led. I have given them everything they desired, all for which they have prayed. I doubt you could say the same for your pawns. Get what you wanted then? Was it all worth it in the end? There were some unexpected developments, but they were ultimately to our advantage. Being host to a surfeit of light or dark, a world bereft of equilibrium is but a void in waiting, and a void is of no use to my master. I shall follow her emissary with great interest. As for the pawns whom you so pity, they have delivered unto me a gift, which I do now present to you. <gasps> oh, snap. Gosh, darn it. Dang it, Bobby. <laughs> The eyes of Nidhogg. Many were the candidates considered, but by your deeds you have proven yourself the most deserving. A man of boundless rage and bottomless despair, in whose breast beats a heart which thirsts for vengeance. Only you are fit to wield these eyes, for will or for woe. Okay. Hi, Karamba. Oof. So it was here all along. <gasps> oh, snap. What the heck? Oh my god, I thought you were dead. Oh, just you wait, my pretty. You and I are going to have so much fun. Ah. Everybody's a zombie, okay? Ah, Burr, just the hero I wanted to see. Would you mind doing me a small favor? I need you to meet me at the Diamond Forge. This won't take long, I promise. <sighs> What an emotional roller coaster this game is. I can't believe it. I knew we shouldn't have just thrown those dumb eyes into a hole. Like, what were they thinking? <laughs> She's so cute. I'm sorry to drag you away from your duties, but as I said, this won't take long. I just need you to stand perfectly still for a few moments. She's making us close! <laughs> right, everyone! Ready to go to work! <sighs> no squirming now! Oh, and you might want to close your eyes. <laughs> Sounds like they're beating her. All 
finish, the warrior of lights every measurement from heroic head to intrepid toe. <laughs> well, what did you like to know? All in good time, bro. All in good time. <laughs> She's like, seriously? Aha! Uh -huh. Found you! Alvino wants everyone in the solar for a meeting. I don't know what it's about, but he seemed to think it was very important. Go on! We have everything we need. No sense in keeping everyone waiting. That was hilarious. Oh my gosh. We're here! Did we miss anything? We would not presume to begin without you, Ida. Orianger has returned to the Waking Sands, but everyone else is now present. Yes, but for what exactly? We all have duties to attend to, Alphano, so you may dispense with the preamble. It is the very subject of those duties which compelled me to call this gathering. Though the Warriors of Darkness no longer pose a threat, Eorzea's many troubles demand no less of our attention. And while I stand by the decision to approach each task as we see fit, I fear our effectiveness will ultimately be diminished should we continue to act in ignorance of each other's efforts. Thus, I propose we elect a successor to Minfilia. Not to serve as a fully-fledged antecedent, perhaps, but as a coordinator of operations. Is that all? Well, then the decision seems clear. No one else has shown any enthusiasm for the role, and judging by your performance at our previous meeting, you would seem the perfect candidate. You always did have a flair for politics. He's already kind of done it, doing the job anyway. Uh, I, I did not mean to... That was not my intention. As my tenure as commander of the Crystal Braves comprehensively demonstrated, I lack the qualities required for such an office. I would much prefer to remain as I am now. A soldier in the field, so to speak. Should none of our numbers step forward, must we then constrain some unwilling candidate to take up the position? Well, based on merit alone, a certain adventurer would be my choice. Though I concede she might struggle to balance her new responsibilities with, let me see, slaying primals, thwarting legatuses, and feeding the orphan poor. Ah, uh, no, I don't really feel like it. Sancred makes a good point. Any who would wear such a mantle would be bound by its obligations. Have we not become sufficiently familiar with each other's methods to act without an overseer? At present, I see no cause to so willingly limit one of our number. Oh, oh my goodness! Your... Help! I need some help here! Who's just walking in? Oh. Tataru, are you all right? Me? I'm fine. It's this poor girl who just staggered in and collapsed on the floor that I'm worried about. Narco! God, how did... You stole her! Please, you have to help her! Oh, Sep. Kral, a hand if you would. Let us see about closing these wounds. <gasps> now, we staunched the bleeding, but it may be a while before you can move about again. Though, having seen your wounds, I'm surprised you are still moving at all. <sighs> Thank you. My message. It was too important to delay. I took the shortest route I could, though I knew it was more heavily patrolled. As you can see, my efforts at evasion were not entirely successful. Honestly, you're too brave for your own good. What was so urgent that you needed to fight half the Empire to get here? You could have been killed! I'm sorry, Ida. I had good reason. Ah, oh, but I imagine your friends are wondering who this bloody mess of a Mikote is. My name is Minago, and I belong to the Alamegan Resistance. 
I came to warn Ida and Papalimo about one of our leaders. A man who calls himself the Griffin. He's always been dangerous, but he's planning something new. Something reckless. The Griffin, you say? I've heard the name. Rumor has it your man is eager to test his claws. Aye, and on no easy target. He means to assault Belthar's wall from the Alamegan side. But what does the Griffin possibly hope to gain from such an attack? From what I understand, he wants the fires of war to spread to Eorzea. And for that, he needs to control the border with Gridania. Ay ay ay. Ay 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 ay. Just got that oh, ending one more. He means war. to spark a conflict between the Alliance and the Imperial forces stationed in Alamigo. To have Eorzea's armies aid in the liberation effort, whether they will it or no. His plan is flawed. Even should the Resistance succeed in occupying the Wall, they would not be able to hold it. Imperial reinforcements would drive them out within a week. Be that as it may, if there is even a chance that this scheme could bring about an escalation in hostilities between Eorzea and the Empire, the Alliance must be informed. Agreed. I shall depart for Lim Salaminsa forthwith and seek an audience with the Admiral. Thancred, Uldar is yours. Alphano and Alize, make haste to the Twelveswood and notify the Elder Seedseer of the danger to Gridania. She would duly call a council of the Alliance leaders, whom you must be ready to receive. You will be our voice in Ishgard. Explain the situation to Sir Emmerich and encourage him to send an envoy. Tataru, Kryle, I leave the care of our injured messenger to you. See that she remains quiescent and her wounds closed. I believe that covers everything. Let us be about our tasks. I suspect the ill tidings from Girabania will be held as a turning point. The beginning to a bloody end. The business of war was ever conducted with the coin of self-sacrifice. Master Louis Soir himself, who taught us that such costs are not to be ignored or denied. And so, I shall embrace them. When the time comes, I will make my choice, as you will yours. Greetings, warrior of light. What business brings you to Ishgard? I see. Wait here. I will summon Sir Emmerich. It is good to see you, my friend. Tis but a pity it must be under such circumstances. Had Lucia not informed me of the urgency of your suit, I would certainly have sent for some wine. But to business, I thank you for bringing these developments in Alamigo to your attention. Ishgard will of course send an envoy to attend to the council in Gridania. I cannot say who will represent us, however, as the choice is not mine to make, not mine alone at any rate. Given the imminence of the threat, we may forego the formalities of a full assembly, but I will still need to consult my counterpart in the House of Commons prior to proceeding. Will you permit me some time to make the necessary arrangements? Sure. I thank you. Our representative, whoever we select, will require a suitable escort. Make your preparations and inform Sir Hadalou that he is to lead in your absence. Bert. Pray accompany the chief to the gates of judgment and make ready to depart for Gridania. I will have our envoy join you as soon as I can. Fury, speed on your way. Speed you on your way. If you have no other business in the city, join me at the Gates of Judgment. We must be ready to depart the instant the envoy arrives. I need a hair, I need a hair. We meet again.
Because it happens my counterpart in the House of Commons agreed that I should act as Ishgard's envoy. Not, I concede, that there was ever any real doubt. As Lord, as Lord Commander of the Temple Knights, it is my duty to sanction any military cooperation. Be that as it may, I could not in good conscience make the decision alone. Not with the ink scarce dry in the Republic's Book of Statutes. I trust you understand, my friend. Alas, I must test your patience still further by making a brief stop at Camp Dragonhead. Given the trouble brewing in the Black Shroud, I would see that the garrison is ready to defend the border. Okie dokie! There he is, old boy. The garrison commander awaits within. Why not accompany me, Burr? You may see a familiar face. It's as if it's not my husband. Oh, heck. <laughs> oh, girl. How wonderful to see you. And Sir Eric, too. To what do I owe these unexpected pleasures? Look at his little suit. <laughs> I will have some mold wine brought up from the kitchens at once, if you will excuse. Nay, do not trouble yourself, Honoroy. We shall soon be on our way. Lucia, a brief summary, if you will. Yes, Lord Commander. Oof. Those villains hardly need an excuse to wage war. Bloodletting comes as naturally as breathing to a girl. I, I mean, to an imperial girl. <laughs> And thus we shall strengthen our patrols as you suggest. We shall also be sure to communicate these developments to Lord Frantel at the observatorium. I see I see you have everything in hand. Carry on, Commander. <laughs> Why? Just because. Surprised to see yours truly at the helm. You and me both, old girl. I doubt I'll ever feel worthy to sit where he sat. You are not worthy. <laughs> Yet we can but play the hand we're dealt. And with a little help from the veterans and Honoroid's ceaseless chiding, I'm sure I'll muddle through. So worry not, old girl. Off to Redania with you. Oh, that's nice they put his picture there. My congested server. Diplomatic duties have brought me here on several occasions, but I find that I am as enraptured by the Black Shroud's beauty now as when I first laid eyes upon it. I fear that this time, however, events shall not afford us the luxury of enjoying the splendor of the forest. Hey all, so I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you liked this video, please like this video because that'll help gather more folks to the video with the channel. We are aiming for 1k, so we're almost there. Also, if you are new and you haven't yet, please subscribe. Uh, we have a Discord link that is very, very fun. That link will be in the description underneath this video. And I also have all my other social media links and stuff that will be under there as well. And also, I do have a Patreon if you're interested. That link is below and that does help <laughs> get us uh, to support the channel so I can be here and do more stuff with you guys. All right. From uh, all of us to all of you. <laughs> Bye.